Hi, I'm Sumeth. I'm a Sri Lankan Jesuit priest and a scientist here at Campion Hall here in Oxford. Uh, I'm reading for my um, doctorate in physiology, anatomy and genetics. My passion is for um, cancer cell biology. We have been in our particular, in our lab, we have been looking at how cancer cells, the particular tumor cells can survive under adverse conditions. And my interest is for um, cancer cell communication. And I am particularly looking at these tiny vesicles called exosomes, which are secreted by the cells, how they are able to occur prime sites and to uh, communicate with other cancer cells. These are um, um, CD63 um, GFP targeted uh, antibodies and we can also see via using GFP antibody uh, like CD9 tagged into these exosomes so we can we are able to understand what's going on. This is the endolysosomal region in there you have these multivesicular bodies in which you find these tiny vesicles called exosomes which are formed within the MBBs because that's the imagination of the membrane to form this tiny vesicle. Uh, and they are being sort of trafficked into the plasma membrane and they fuse and then secrete out. So this is in a super resolution image, image this is what we can capture actually. So um, uh, it is it's the first time it is done in the sort of exosome field and we are privileged to get the techniques going. One of the key features in advanced forms of cancer is that tumor cells proliferate, migrate, and outcompete their neighbors under adverse conditions. Interestingly, we have found that certain anti-cancer drugs can alter these exosome signals, leading to a so-called exosome switch. This has stimulated us to, uh, particularly in our lab, to investigate how these exosome signals are regulated and whether the exosome switch allows cancer cells to resist the effects of these drugs. The Society of Jesus is interested that I am engaged in this type of research, particularly going in to understand what cancers do and with regard to its mechanistic understanding. And the idea is that I would be eventually teach and to do research, do deeper research into this and help uh, more understand and the pursuit of knowledge that we need to have so that we can apply some of the, the findings that we have into the current day problems that we encounter.